Hey, it's Justin Brock with Nickel Realty. Um, hanging over a porch on Elka Creek. Some kind of bird just landed over there. We're at 224 Elka Creek again, doing a 360 video. So as I walk around and I'm blabbing about, um, Whatever the hell I start blabbing about, you can be spinning around and looking at this home. Two twenty four Alka Creek. Um, clearly, it's a big piece of shit. I'm not here to say otherwise, but it's seventy two thousand. It's a HUD home. It's going to need to be paid with cash, or better yet, a rehab loan. So if you've been looking at homes, you know, in that 165, 185 range, even will the dabble going up to 199, if it's right, you can make this one right. Bathroom's a piece of shit. It's hideous. I mean, it needs to be gutted out, but you have a full bathroom down. Two bedrooms. This one has a much better closet. So you got the two bedrooms. It's a big living room, a nice dining room. Yep, the kitchen's a piece of shit. It needs to be redone, but it doesn't matter. This place is 72 grand. So if we just start saying 75 grand for the home, you know, how much money are you gonna put into a, a kitchen? A kitchen this size. We have two contractors right in my office building. I'll sit down with you, show you cabinetry you're gonna get. It's all nice shit. You're gonna have all new windows, a brand new kitchen, a brand new bathroom, all new flooring, a new porch. All up here, um, needs to be redrywalled. You gotta watch out in any of these Cape Cods. When you see the paneling upstairs, that's all it is. Just some paneling. Ever see those little ugly squares you see in a lot of the Cape Cods in Tonawanda? This is what is above it. No insulation, nothing. So they put a new roof on. I don't know if the old roof was leaking. Clearly some water was sitting there. Again, no big deal. This is all gonna be removed anyways. It's all gonna be brand new. God damn, they had a beast in here. A whole, another full bath up here. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. And yes, this was really dumb. Doesn't matter, you're ripping it out. It's gonna be all new. Yeah, this is... I would personally take this down to the studs and reboard everything. That's why these capes are so God damn hot. It's like Satan's making a baby up there. You just do it right. You insulate it. You make this your home. And it's going to be beautiful. And you get to pick everything out. Not pray that one day someone's going to list this amazing home.
You need a new furnace. You're putting in central air too. You're gonna have all new electrical. You're gonna have glass block windows. All the shit's gonna be removed. It's all gonna be nice and clean. Cause you got nice, true, straight um, poured concrete walls. A little pocket crack coming off the window. Very, very common. Looks like they had a little crack repaired here. You know, the, the general of thumb, vertical is not so bad. It's the horizontal when these walls start bowing. Doesn't appear to be any of that going on here. Again, all this crap will be removed. You'll have someone come look at the home. Even better, I would argue it's better than a home inspection. Home inspector will go in here and point out all the shit like I'm pointing out and say refer to a to a licensed contractor. So then what? Then we have to get a, a contractor to get you some prices. So we're just going to do that with the contractors for you. So you buy it, you don't have this big panic because we're going to have estimates done. And that's where, even if you went crazy and put $100,000 in this home and got it for seventy five grand, no way, and you know it if you've been looking for any time, that you're going to find a four bedroom, two full bath, 1,750 square foot home in town of Tanawanda, right across from the creek, two seconds from Colvin Extension, a couple miles up, you're right in Amherst at Niagara Falls Boulevard. This is a great location. A dead end corner lot. Come on, this place is great. If you can get over all this crap, a lot of people can't. You freak out when they come in. Again, you're not doing any of the work. We have it all lined up. We have two contractors in the office. We have an HVAC guy lined up. I do not have um, an actual um, cement guy that I know now. Just a couple people we've used, but something has to be done with those steps. The siding looks decent, except for the corner here. Yeah, the electrical service is going to be all new. I would save money and salvage the siding. Clean up that corner. Have it sprayed. This is an amazing garage. Two and a half car garage. I don't have the key here, so I'll take you in there. So you're going to have all new windows. New roof, new paint, two new bathrooms, a new kitchen, new driveway, new high efficient furnace, new high efficient hot water tank, new electrical service, all new flooring. Jesus. And all that for 175 grand? Good luck finding something like that. You could even put this thing up to 200, it would still make sense. I think you start cresting too, it might be a little goofy, but not out of the realm. If you love the, the location, it would make sense. But 200 here all day long. If this thing was listed, fixed up at 179, there'd be 10 goddamn people standing right in front of the house waiting to get in. I love it. Getting 224 Alka Creek. Talking about some financing options. Talking about some options for um, you to stop being at the mercy of somebody else deciding to move. Because you can do this with any home. It doesn't have to be this this home. If you're not feeling that, that's fine. I personally love this house, but I'd love to help you out on. Um,